Hi, this is Ren, and this is All Walks of Film. So, the Captain Marvel trailer finally came out. I know that Brie Larson said that it was going to break the internet like two weeks ago, and then all they did was release pictures, but now the trailer is actually out, and I'm going to give it a look. Uh, before then, I just want to say that I really enjoyed the last Avengers movie, Avengers Infinity War, and it was pretty much unanimous. Uh, I didn't really think that there was going to be any film to top Black Panther this year, uh, you know, referring to like comic book movies and stuff like that, but there are certain aspects of Infinity War that had a bigger impact on me than even that film. That being said, I'm afraid that Captain Marvel is going to essentially do away with all the stakes that were laid out in the new movie. I think she's going to bring everybody back to life and, you know, the whole thing about people not staying dead that was the plague on DC. I think Marvel is going to do with this and I would be really surprised if anybody was actually killed by Thanos or you know I'm not sure what exactly they're gonna do I'm sorry I'm not a comic reader but I know that they're gonna come back to some extent so I'm a little worried about that I really hope that they don't do that and uh, decide to actually keep characters dead or you know at least keep some characters dead uh, but we'll see so without further ado, I'm going to watch the trailer and then I'm going to come back. I'm going to edit all that out uh, and just come back and tell you what I think. Okay, so the trailer doesn't look bad, but it doesn't have me incredibly excited for the film. And that's being completely honest. Uh, once again, uh, we have another throwback film. Uh, this one clearly is the 90s since you had the blockbuster video which kind of made me chuckle since blockbuster video is no longer in service uh that being said uh there there really isn't much to go by in this trailer there's some hint that captain marvel was somebody who was a pilot on earth and then went up to the stars and did stuff and does that sound a little familiar to you yeah, it kind of sounds like the Green Lantern to me. <laughs> um, so I, I'm not incredibly familiar with uh, a lot of Marvel's heroes, so that might be her backstory, but uh, uh, <laughs> anybody who knows comics knows that uh, there is a lot of heavy borrowing, uh, shall we say. Uh, I, I don't want to use the other word, but um, <laughs> there there is a lot of borrowing. Um and this looks like it's borrowing both from uh, the Green Lantern, um, which, if any of you know, uh, was a rather abysmal film. Um, that, and uh, you know, it it kind of looks like Marvel is trying to emulate DC right now. Um, so in the trailer, um, there's certain poses and stuff and. It, it kind of reminds me of uh, the Gal Gadot Wonder Woman movie. Um, obviously, Brie Larson is a far better actress than Gal Gadot. Uh, I really don't know how many films it's going to take for people to see the same thing that I see with Gal Gadot. Uh, it seems like a lot of people are giving her a free pass because they find her attractive. But, like, as an actress, like, really... Seriously, like, watch those scenes. She is so forced and wooden. It's painful to watch. Um, but everybody, you know, just sings her praises. And I don't get it. That That's me. Uh, I Hopefully, the new Wonder Woman 2 is what kills the DCEU. Uh, but we're not talking about the DCEU. I'm sorry. Uh, we're talking about Captain Marvel, and uh, Captain Marvel, you know, this movie looks like it's somewhat derivative of the Green Lantern movie. Obviously, it will be better since, uh, well, <laughs> you know, they do that better. Uh, I, I did notice one thing in the trailer that I wanted to bring up, and that is 
it looks like the female Thor is in this, and um, from a lot of the complaints that I heard about, you know, the new run of Captain Marvel and stuff like that, uh, you know, Marvel could be actually grabbing some of the more controversial aspects of the Marvel comic universe into the actual movies. And uh, that has me a little scared just because uh, Marvel got a little too social justice warrior -y and it, it didn't like really fit into the narrative. It was just kind of there. And uh, the biggest complaint was actually with female Thor. Like there was no real reason. She wasn't like a well-developed character or anything like that. She was just female Thor. And granted, uh, cinematic universes and movies have taken characters that are really small and made them larger than life. Uh, probably a primary example is a B-class superhero in the Marvel Universe. Iron Man becomes an A-class superhero. And, you know, that, that could be the case. Um, however, uh, you know, I don't see Chris Hemsworth getting, like, replaced that soon just because, like, he's built up the character so much but like i i am curious if they're gonna actually like play with this and like actually treat other characters as dead for a while i i still think they're coming back but um you know maybe they'll do something that uh is unexpected and uh you know actually move on and say all those characters actually died and we're moving on from that um that would be a much bolder move, and that would actually make Infinity War have greater stakes, um, knowing the fact that characters can't come back, because that's the only thing that makes Infinity War a little weak for me, is just knowing, like, after the movie is over, it's like, yeah, but everybody's coming back, right? Um, and, you know, the tease at the end of the movie was you know, with Captain Marvel, and, um, you know, I got a feeling, you know, especially since she's coming from uh, a different time period, like, you know, she's she's coming to Earth from a different time period, a la Wonder Woman, um, you know, even though, you know, she's transported, you know, there there's still this kind of, you know, Steve Trevor, um, did I say Steve Trevor? Steve Rogers. Of Steve Rogers thing of, you know, coming back from a different time and, you know, being nostalgic about things. Granted, it's only a couple decades versus, um, you know, Steve Rogers, who's from the 40s. Uh, but that being said, uh, I, I am really interested and excited to see uh, Marvel succeed with a female superhero, uh, provided that the movie is actually good, uh, because I am not opposed to female superheroes. I'm not opposed to female protagonists. I'm not opposed to any of this kind of stuff. In fact, I would encourage more of it. Um, but the way that it seems to be handled, like franchise after franchise, just feels so forced, and it feels like they're just shoehorning women in instead of like developing good strong characters and you know let me iterate this point um which is the characters don't just need to be strong they need to actually be good characters now captain marvel from what i've read she's more powerful than superman you know and all this kind of stuff which is like okay so so like what makes her an interesting character and um Apparently, this current line that uh, the comics have been going on has not been very popular. And then you have, like, Miss Marvel, who's, like, a crazy fangirl who becomes a superhero. I, I don't know. Um, and if you're familiar with it, please let me know. Uh, I apologize for being this ignorant. Uh, but that being said, it... The trailer is fine. Uh, I'm not complaining about the trailer. I just wasn't really excited by anything that I saw in the trailer. If you saw something different, let me know in the comments below. Let me know if you're excited to see the film. And let me know if you want me to do more of these trailer reactions. Or if there's another topic that you would like to see me cover. Thanks for listening, and keep holding your heads high.